Hello! Uh, let me say that again. Hello! It is I, DJ Winza. Thanks for watching this little video here. Um, for those that have actually been paying attention to my channel, I've been using this character, DJ Winza's project, for my uh, Poor Man's Challenge, Poor Man's Solo Challenge. And uh, this is the most recent episode I made, which is five. Uh, I'm making this video before the episode five releases. Um, it should be like, oh gosh, what time is it now? Go, go, gadget, telephone with a clock. Oh, about eh, two hours from now. But anyway, I was told that uh, I should probably do a tutorial for, say, how to create a character. Now, let me give you guys a little show so far. Champions Online has one of the most robust character creators of any game I've ever played. Like, you can have, a, a, as you can see on, let's see, that way, um, you can just see from the, that little bunch of hexagons that uh, I have an incredibly varied set of characters just right there, and that's the first page. I have three pages. I've got this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. And, you know, they're just all totally different. And ha I can honestly have almost every character be so vastly different that it's difficult to really find two that are even somewhat similar. Although I do have, like, three monkey characters. Um, oh. I need to I need to give this character a haircut because he's based on me. He's actually a shapeshifter, so even among his own costumes, he's got many many different looks. Um, here's another monkey. Yes, yes, I know. Shut up about the copyright infringement. He's not the same character. Um, but yeah, you can make so many different looks in this game. It's ridiculous. And I've got two cats that are going berserk behind me. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you guys real quick some easy things about the costume creator. So, boop! First off, you've got the, uh, the types of characters you can play. Um, from from range, tank, melee, hybrid, or support, you can select different archetypes. They are specialized to their particular role. <clears throat> like, for example, the Inferno, the Tempest, the Marksman, the Scourge, the Squall, and the Soldier. They are nothing but range damage. That is what they do best, and they do it very, very well. Um, it's been stated that archetypes having um, they don't have what is called diminishing returns like freeform characters do which I'll get to freeforms in a minute um, so they end up with a gross total of damage bonus that's about 10% higher than the freeforms and it's only the damage one the damage based archetypes that get this advantage. In all honesty, I think it should be considered a feature, because they are locked into their build. They can't, say, grab uh, healing drones or, or self-heals to be able to keep themselves alive. So, they should, you know, as a... as a... Uh, make up for the drawback of not being able to self-heal, be able to do the extra damage. Um, then there's tanks, like the Glacier, the Mountain, the Master, the Invincible, and the Behemoth. Oh, and do make note, each one of these archetypes has a default costume. You're not locked into this costume. 
uh, you can actually completely change it. And I'll show you that in a moment, too, after I'm done introducing the archetypes. Um, then there are the melee archetypes, which the Disciple is the one I'm running my video, my other, uh, my challenge with. Um, the Unleashed, the Blade, uh, the Devastator, and the Fist. They do heavy me melee damage, which, you know, pretty darn cool. Uh, then there are the Hybrids, which don't really have a specific role on teams. They can more or less be considered like the median between all of them like for example the savage can work as either melee damage or tank because of regeneration and because they do decent melee damage um, the night avenger can do either melee damage or range damage both equally well. So can the Specialist. Uh, the Impulse can work as support, damage, or in a very limited way, tank. Uh, the Void can work as support or damage. Uh, it can even sort of tank when you, if you select when you get the chance to. Uh, void Horror over Ebon Rift. Because they can just send in their Void Horror to take the Alpha Strike of your enemies. And then there is the the support slash damage of the Grimoire. So the hybrid characters can basically can take two different roles or take the place of one of the other roles. Um, then there are the support, which usually rely on healing over ev all their, over everything um, but in the case of the inventor they they also you know bring out pets to to take the alpha strikes but the pets don't really survive very long because the gadgetry pets are kind of defensively weak um, and then there is freeform freeform take all the abilities of all these others and that's more or less freeform. You can select anything as a freeform. So yes, I'm going to go into the freeform selection here. Uh, first power you select is your energy builder. You have to get energy in order to use your specialty attacks, and this is how your character does it. Um, Selecting what your energy builder is here can help determine how easy it is to get other powers later. Um, because the standard powers have either a, oh, you can just grab this right off the bat, or, oh, you have to have this many of either this particular set in order to get this power, or have this many more of any other power like uh, for example um, they, they come in tiers tier 0 you get to select right off the bat at I'll show you in a moment um, I will s this character is not going to actually be made or used so I'm just gonna grab boomerang toss for the heck of it uh, these are tier 0 powers uh, they use some of your energy, and you do not need any specific power to unlock them. You can just grab them right off the bat. You can add them to any build. It doesn't matter how many other powers you have. Um, since I grabbed something from Gadgetry, which was the boomerangs, if I were to say grab... Oh gosh, where is it? Oh my goodness, I actually don't know where it is. Uh, it's supposed to be in here. Oh, derp. There it is. Experimental Blaster. Since that is also a gadgetry power, that gives me two gadget-based powers. So, if I were to go and try to get a Tier 1 gadget power, I could do that because I have two gadget powers. 
if I wanted to get a tier 3, I would have to have... Or, if... Yeah, if I wanted to get a tier 2 gadget power, I would have to have three of... Three gadget powers, or three of that specific power set. Or five of any other. Of course, I could be mistaken. I think that's actually tier three. Either way, you have to have a certain number of that set or about two more of anything. All right, anyway, on to the character creator. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You also have to select your stats or, excuse me, your innate characteristic. I had to look at the top of the screen. Um, since I'm not making the character, I'm just going to grab whatever. Um, oh, this is where you make your your primary first... Your first primary decision on how you want your character to develop. Um, if you want your character to, say, be a tank, you select something that has more constitution because it'll give you more health points. Uh, if you want your character to have better energy management, you're going to want uh, something that has more endurance, which gives you more total endurance or energy. Um, you go with, or you could go with intelligence, which makes your powers not cost as much energy. So basically it's a discount on how much they cost. And another advantage intelligent ha intelligence has is powers that have long cooldowns. The cooldowns won't take as long with higher intelligence. And another energy-based uh, stat is recovery, which sets your equilibrium, which I'll actually show you because I'm, I'm going to hit create on the character just to show you the, the specific terms. Um... The equilibrium is represented by two little triangles that are on your energy bar. And when your energy bar is filling up on its own, when you're not using an energy builder or in battle at all, it'll fill up to a certain point. And that is set by your recovery. Also, recovery changes how much energy you get using your energy builder. The higher recovery, more you get, obviously. Uh, how much you get by blocking enemy attacks, because you also gain energy from blocking en enemy attacks. And how much your... I believe it's called uh, secondary energy unlock, which gives a... Um, gives a specific amount dependent on stats and different secondary effects of certain powers, like a good example would be uh, Killer Instinct from the um, from the uh, munitions set. Any critical hits you get using munitions powers, or I, I don't know if, if they uh, opened that up to all of technology. I think it's just the munitions powers. Any critical hits you get give you energy within a certain amount because um, it's not going to happen like every second but it'll happen more often than not um, and I've just went a whole pile into uh, energy for no reason when I should be moving on to the next set of stats then there is strength and ego Strength and Ego are two sides of the same coin. Strength improves melee damage primarily. Uh, it also improves melee-based knocks, which includes knockbacks, knock-ups, and, well, actually, it doesn't really affect knockdowns because they just go boom, right on the ground. Um, but the higher the strength, the, the further you'll send them flying. And it also improves how well you resist being knocked. Um, and strength also improves how well your character can pick up random objects. The higher your strength, obviously, the bigger the object you'll be able to lift, 
and how much damage those items do when you throw them at enemies. Uh, Ego has sort of the same effect, but only when you use a power called um, Telekinesis, which is in the tele Telekinesis power set. Uh, obviously, it ha has the exact same effect Strength does. Um, and why Ego's the other side of the coin for Strength is it improves ranged damage, ranged knocks, and it actually improves your hold resistance, or at least it says it does. I'm not sure if they fixed that yet. For a long time, it was doing absolutely nothing. Um, then there are the two oddball... Well, actually, I guess Constitution is considered an oddball as well, since it literally just improves your hit points. Um, then there is Dexterity and Presence. Dexterity improves your critical hit chance, and the effect of or how strong stealth powers are. Um, the higher the higher dex, the higher the effects. Uh, and then there is presence, which improves your healing, how strong how long hold powers last, and your own crowd control resistance. So, you know, if an enemy is throwing an immobilize on you where you can't step away but you can still attack the immobilize won't last as long when you have higher presence or if you're going to paralyze an enemy they will be paralyzed longer with higher presence and if you're going to heal your buddy higher presence makes you heal a lot more all right now i'm gonna hit that um now there is the costume generator which is amazing and uh I think you guys heard uh, Steam earlier. Yes, I'm on Steam. I haven't actually checked it. And I'm not going to do that while I'm recording. So whoever it was will have to wait. Alright, we're going to start at the beginning. Heads and hairs. And as I clicked that little flag menu, you notice there are a ton of different options just for the type of head. And that's not even where it stops. I just select regular head and hair. And there are all these options right here, too. There, if you are a free account, you start off with over 3,000 different costume pieces to play with. And that's with a free account. You haven't spent any anything on the game whatsoever. And you're already 3,000 costume pieces in. And you can change what type of head just right here. Like humanoid, partial mask, noseless, cyborg, cy cyborg mark II, robotic, skull, and, and the list keeps going on because they worked really, really hard on getting these things together. And even within each subset, the second piece in, in head, material. You can make it so this is bare skin. There's not really any shininess or anything. I go to leather. Well, I, I can't really tell too well, but depending on the lighting, you'll notice that there's like an overlay that makes it a little shinier than it should be. Uh, then there is obviously metal, which kind of looks obvious metal now um, and then oiled which doesn't really show up too well here either in this lighting but still we're gonna go back to bare skin because that's still not all I, I haven't even gotten into the chest wear I haven't gotten into the gloves or the or the pants or anything other than just the head type and already look at this whole flag menu going down the middle of that screen. Yeah, this is just stuff you can put on the face. No other game has lists that are this large when it comes to different things. This is this is detail. Basic chiseled, which, you know, gives him that little butt chin thing. 
Stern, which gives him a look like that. Angry. Chubby. Gaunt. Middle-aged. Well, no, I don't have to do anything for that one. Uh, rugged. Old. Thankfully, I can't do that. Really old. Geometric. Yeah, I have no idea how I would do that one. And demonic. Yeah, no. Um, you're going to find that depending on what types of things you select in earlier menus, you'll have different selections in, say, detail. Like, for example, if I choose noseless, I can go and have a completely different look by right here under pattern because it adds in things like alien ridges, ape, and hairless ape, which, you know, makes them look completely different. And uh, your character's theme is more or less your own to choose. Um, let's see. There's also, um, bestial heads, which I don't know why that, that hawk thing shows up whenever I go to that one. But, uh, yeah, they've got animal heads. Um, I'm not quite sure how many of these you have open to you when, uh, when you're a free account. But I know you can purchase a lot of costumes from their, uh, from the from their cash store and there's a lot of things you can unlock um, just by playing the game I love the ape head I've made as you noticed at the beginning of the video several monkey based characters um, I even have a bear I think the bear head you actually have to fight um, I think they're called yeah, they're called manimals. And you don't fight them till your character is like in their 30s, so... And you have to kill a whole bunch of them for the bear head. Or... Actually, I'm not sure. I think the it's the bear claws that you have to fight a whole bunch of them for. Thankfully, they're really easy and they don't do much damage. All of course, me mentioning that will probably have the devs be like, oh, What? We need to buff them so that they hit you harder and make you cry like little girls. No offense, little girls. Um, yeah, I don't know why this one is in the bestial head, because technically that is not a uh, bestial head. This one is just weird. Um, this one's a veteran one that I actually mention in... Uh, I think it's around the middle to end of uh, my third challenge video for Champions Online. Uh, this one you have to fight a major boss to unlock and be really lucky enough that he drops it, I think. Or is that his wings? I'm not sure. Anyway. Um, werewolf, monstrous werewolf, that one you have to pay for. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, regular Wolf, which comes with a free account, and this one, I'm not quite sure how I got that one. I think it might have been a regular Halloween unlock. Anyway, there are tons of different things. I've only shown you from the neck up. If there are that many options... Here, let me actually swing this back real quick. I'm going to hit Randomize All, because you can also... It's going to adjust the body sliders as well. But this will just give you a little taste of just how varied your costumes can be. And by the way, this icon here, which is the head, obviously, from the neck up. This is the torso, which is, you know, from the waist up to the shoulders and about to here on the arm or to here, depending on what kind of gloves you choose. Which is in the next thing, gloves. You can choose long gloves, which go to about the elbow, or short gloves which are can also include your bare hands um, and that adds other options to the chest as well and then there is the 
legs, which is more or less anything from the waist down. And you can also select your different weapons. Uh, this character had the experimental blaster, so there's many different weapons you can choose from just from there. And that's just one power. And you can customize it that much. And then, the, and then of course, there is the animations your character uses. Um, that's heroic, which is the default. Then there's average, huge, which is good when you're a bigger character. Huge beast, which you notice the mouth is opening and closing. That only works if you have the mood set to normal. Because if you set it to courageous, determined, or what have you, which the emotions don't show up too well with the cat face, um, you'll you'll stop standing there like... <sighs> and then there's Beast. I kind of like this one, because you walk around on all fours, and you run on all fours. All right, now, let's hit randomize all! Boom! That's a weird combination. They choose interesting or, well, sometimes really ugly combinations of colors when you hit randomize all as well. I I'm not quite sure the colors are random because, well, they may have just made a bunch of presets for the colors setups. And by the way, if you want to just set a base for the whole costume, and notice there's a little chain link here, that means they're linked to these colors which is why they match. Uh, you can change whatever color one at a time on the total costume. Or if you want to change just one item, let me just pick something that's very, very obvious. Uh, I guess, yeah, chest and arms, which is this right here. Uh, I'll just hit the second one and... I just turn the, the second color of his chest pink. So, there is a lot of different, or are a lot of different combinations of costume pieces, and sometimes they'll bring up the, uh, the archetype costumes, like those last two. Oh, that one's actually not too bad, but I'm not making a character. Sometimes this will help you, uh get some inspiration for uh, what kind of looks you want for your character. Oh, and by the way, these hands right here, you gotta do one of the costume, or costume, comic series for. It's uh, the one white called Whiteout. And I've been doing this so long that two of the songs have started over. Uh, anyway, but yeah. There is an amazing number of different costume slots and an almost infinite, a nigh infinite number of combinations of different pieces, animations, and even powers. You can make your characters ridiculously powerful with the right combinations, or you can make them really weak. I like to make my characters to an overall theme. Um, the choices are really yours. So, go ahead, try the game. You'll only have a limited number of archetypes to choose, and I'm bringing this all the way back to these, because I need to point out real quick which ones you, the free player, will be able to use. Uh, from the ranged sets, there is the Inferno, the Marksman, and the Soldier for free. From the tank, you can play the Glacier or the Behemoth. From melee, you can have the Unleashed, the Blade. Actually, those the, that's all you get from that one. Uh, from hybrid, you can only have the Grimoire. And from support, you can only have the Radiant and the Mind. The rest of them you can, you can pay for if you want. You don't have to, or you can go with a gold membership or even a lifetime membership. The gold membership is 15 a month, the lifetime membership is 300, and you never have to pay another dime again. 
Um, you get, I believe, 400 zen, which is the cash currency if you're spending money on the game. And I'm taking off my headset for no good reason. So yeah, you guys go try the game out. It is incredibly fun, and I may end up doing a build seminar sometime soon. This is the longest video I have ever made. Anyway, for now, peace. I'm not even going to bother logging in on anything. You guys have a great day, and I hope this tutorial helped you see just how intricate this game can be. Bye!